hey welcome to another tutorial if you're very conversant with my channel you would know that i always always bring tutorial about no code tools and how you can use them to build apps build web web applications and the rest today i'm going to give a brief overview of glide now glide is a very very powerful it's a very powerful no code tool that you could use to build websites and uh, apps without code but this is not like a download a download you can build websites you can build apps but you can put them in the Play Store, yeah? And although you do not need a spreadsheet, everything comes with it. But for Glide, it's called, the kind of apps you build with Glide are called PWA, are called Progressive Web App. You can install, you, you can put them on the Play Store, yeah? You can put them on the Play Store, but you can just, you know, uh, uh, put them as an icon on your phone, on your tablet. You can install them on your desktop, you know? You can just put it there, but they are not downloadable. So those are the type of apps that you can build. But one thing I love about Glide is that it's so easy for you to get started. It's so easy. Within 5-10 minutes, you can, you know, build your own application with Glide. Especially if you're someone who you want to automate a couple of stuff, you're always using spreadsheet. It's an easy way for you to just, you know, transform your spreadsheet into a web application without thinking too much. That's one of the things I love about Glide. Uh, if you, if you, when you visit GlideApps.com for the very first time, this is the interface you would see. It used to be different before now, but now things are always changing all the time. So this is the interface you will see. You can see the type of application you can build. So this is an application built with Glide with um, it, with Glide Pages. So this is Glide Pages. Glide have two types of application. If you click on the product icon, you would see it has the Glide app. It has the Glide Pages and it has the Glide Data Editor. So there's a difference between a Glide app and a Glide page. So this is it. For the Glide apps, you can. It's very cool if you want to build something that 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 lives on the phone or on your tablet. It's very cool. Not on the desktop. Desktop things start to get very messy. But if you're building for apps, you're building for your phone, you're building for your tablet. It's super good. But you know, there are some companies that sometimes. A lot of time you want to be able to control admin, admin on your desktop. You want to use wider screen like your TVs, you know, to do a lot of stuff. That's where the pages comes in. So you use majorly the Glide pages to build apps for your desktop. So if you if you if you check it out and say, okay, I, I don't want to build, I want to build the mobile application for we're using Glide apps, but for the admin pages, I want to build it via Glide pages. The good thing about this too is that you can connect both of them to the same data source. You can either use the Glide sheet or you can use simply use a Google spreadsheet. Just like this, all your data will live right here on your Google spreadsheet. All you have to do is to link your Google spreadsheet with your Glide app and you, you get started. For example, I could just name my Glide, my, my spreadsheet and say Glide app spreadsheet. And all I have to do is to link this spreadsheet with my Glide app and we can start building immediately. That's, that's all I have to do. Let's just scroll down a little bit to see what we have here. And you can see they have a lot of companies using it. Over 250,000 persons have made apps using Glide. Why shouldn't you use it? You should get to use it too. It's super cool. You can turn spreadsheet into a software. You can see there are lots of testimonies on the side. And one thing I also love about Glide is that everything is drag and drop. You do not need to code a whole lot of stuff, except maybe you're building something complicated and you want to put formulas on the spreadsheet. You know, there are some things that Glide can do currently that you see you, you, you need to use a spreadsheet, some spreadsheet formula to do so. But if it's the interface, the interface, you have to rely on Glide for the interface. So you can create anything extra. So you can create things like plugins. You can create anything extra like you do on Adalo. Adalo, you can create your own separate pro plugin to do what you want. But for Glide, you really have to make use of what you're giving on the Glide interface. I can tell you that you can really do a lot with what you have already on Glide. So uh, you can share your updates immediately. You can collaborate with teams. You can see how seamless it works, right? You can collaborate with teams and you can do a whole lot of stuff. And one good thing I love is that Glide have a lot of templates. Have a lot of templates. You can get one of these templates and get started straight up. Say you want to build an inventory app. There's an inventory template you can get started with. 
company CRM. These are these are templates that you can get started with immediately. And also the templates they have you have categories here. You can see it resorts to what a local business might need. You know, it's just you just go on and on and on and on, and then you can, you know, and you can really do something for yourself straight up that you like. And when it comes to pricing, the pricing is affordable. There is free, there is 32 a month, there is 40. So you can really do a lot with $32 a month. I mean, yeah, you're not going to worry about hosting. You're not going to worry about what's happening. You're not going to worry about any other back-end features. All you have to do is to pay your $32 per month and you're done. But if you go yearly, it reduces a lot. See, yearly is $24, monthly is $32. So it's wise for you to just go for the the, the, the yearly plan. Pay a full year. A full year will be around say uh, around $300, $300 a year. So it's just better you pay the full year and just you know go ahead create amazing product and that you'll be happy with and help your team to you know prosper and be successful. Not just yourself, you can actually create products for other people who would like to use it. And also, they have a very wonderful community. My goodness, Guy community is super wonderful. They're always there to help you. They're always there to, you know, look out for you. You can ask as many questions as possible you want to. That's one thing I love about Glide. The community is amazing. And they have a lot of video guides. I'm telling you, you can learn and learn and learn. You almost do not need anyone to teach you, Glide. See, see, look at all of it. These are so many, so many guides. So many, so many guides, how to use images, how to use charts, how to use custom, how to use security. You know, they even teach you how to build some apps. So you can see it here. How to build a lot of apps, podcast apps, home screen, how to build your administrative settings, a whole lot in Glide. So there is no reason why you shouldn't start developing your application because Glide is giving you everything that you need to start developing your application yourself. To get started, sign up. If you don't have an account, it's a simple sign up with your Gmail account. I'll just click on login. Yeah, I'm signed up already. That's all I need. I'm signed up already, so I don't have to enter any of them. And once you're signed up, click on new projects. So these are some of the projects that I've worked on. But click on new projects and name your app. So I'm going to say test application. Uh, so it gives you the opportunity to choose between two, Glide app or Glide pages. So just click on continue. So where are you gonna get get the where are you gonna get the data from? So the thing about Glide is that you connect one data, you 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 just you know call data from a source and manipulate it. Glide give you a, a chance to choose from Google Sheet or the Glide tables. But please, for now, the Glide tables there's so many things that you cannot do, especially if you want to use third party application like Zapier and Integromat. There's some things that you cannot do, especially if you want to if you want to automate stuff. If you want things to just automate on their own, yeah, you don't want to do that. So it's safe that you go with Google Sheet and click on continue. <clears throat> then it will ask you to find the spreadsheet. Automatically, it syncs with your Google Drive and asks you to look for the spreadsheet. Remember the spreadsheet we created? This one? You can see it right here right now. So click on it and say select. Let's, let's add something to the sheet. Let's just add something to the sheet and say profile. Let's add something to the sheet. I'm going to put uh, name, email, uh, image. That's it. And I'm going to put some sort of a uh, sheet 2 homepage. I'm just going to say um, work done. Work done. So this is not some sort of a tutorial. This is some sort of. A, this is just an overview. So we just have to add something to, to the application to just you know so that Glide will know there's there's a, there's, there's data inside of it. So I'm gonna start that project again. I'm gonna call it just pause project and say continue, and say from Google Sheet continue. So it finds my sheet and I say select. And now I have I have data inside the sheet and now it's telling me. Yeah, you can use it. So this is just how easy it is for you to, for you to, um, for you to create, for you to create stuff with Glide. So this is my profile page. If I click on it, you can see this is my home page. This is what it is, 
and there is nothing in there. Every time I update my spreadsheet here, I could always come here to to refresh. Every time I update my spreadsheet, I can always come here to refresh. So if I add something to my spreadsheet, work done, go to work. Description, yes, I went to work. Image, there's no image, it's fine. And I'll come back here, just refresh my spreadsheet right here. So you can see, this is, it's just calling data from this spreadsheet and putting it here. So you can see, it's, it knows, it knows what's supposed to be on top and what's supposed to be below. So if I click it, it just opens a whole better description. So this is what I can do in my app. There's a sign up, I can create a sign up. All I have to do is go to my settings. I'm going to be showing you all this later. Go to my settings and say public with email. That's all I have to do. And so I'll go back to my application and now I'll have a profile button. So this is it. I choose my profile sheet. And now I have a profile. That's all. I can sign up. I can sign up. I can do anything I want to do. And this is the spreadsheet. Look at the spreadsheet right here. This is the profile spreadsheet. So you can see it's just drawing information. That's all. That's all it's doing. If I add another row, I could add another row and you would see everything. So if I add a row, row ID, yes. Put, put my name. Put a name right here. Put my email. My email right here. So just say Paul at app.com. Change this into an image. Say edit column. Just change it into an image. So this is not a, this is not a, a, a drill tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to do this in uh, another tutorial. Just look up my channel. So I've done this right now. So if I go back to my to my app, if I go back to my app, it's not here right now. So all I have to do is sign in as the other user, Paul. So you would see that yeah, you can see the image. You can see my email. I can sign up, I can sign in, I can do anything I want to do. So that's it. Glide just gives everyone and anyone. And as I told you, it's also good for desktop too, right? See, tablet, this is the tablet version of it. So if I click on it, it shows right here. So I could click on this and it shows the profile. Click on it, shows the profile. It, it, this is supposed to be the profile image and everything, but because we did not work on it, so it's not going to show a lot. So Glide just gives anyone and everyone the opportunity to create mobile and web application for themselves without really needing a developer and at a very very low cost per month so with 24 dollars you can actually create your own application yourself and that's how you do it that's how you just do it so this is it for me go ahead and explore glide one other thing that i haven't talked about is that glide becomes very powerful when you connect it with a tool like zapier it becomes so powerful. Like there's almost nothing you cannot do with Glide when you connect it with a tool like this, especially if you want to automate your work. And um, because I think Zapier is quite expensive, yeah, I use Integromat. Zapier is quite expensive, and so I go for Integromat because if you compare both pricing together, you would say it's a bit expensive. There's a lot. You can almost do the same thing with Integromat like you can do with Zapier, but Zaps. It's more expensive. Creating scenarios with Integromat is a whole lot more cheaper for, um, for, for you as an individual, especially if you're not working for a company. It's much cheaper for you. You can, the free plan alone on, on Integromat can do you a whole lot of good compared to Zapier. So go ahead, that's it for me. Go ahead, if you wanna, if you wanna know, know more about Glide, feel free to send me a DM. Feel free to send me a DM and I'll do what to respond, respond to you. Leave your comments. Leave your feedback. I do well to respond to you. If you have a Glide project, my email is my email is just down there. Reach out to me on Twitter or reach out to me via mail, and I'll do well to reach out to you, and we can we can definitely work together. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you with my next with my. I see you, and I'll be I'll be, I'll be bringing out the first tutorial on Glide, and and we'll be creating an app immediately. It's gonna be so straightforward. You'll be creating an app. Just you know. Um, Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my tutorial. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.